Today I've got a journal to share with you. Uh, this was using Angela Kerr's <clears throat> Simply Sunflower kit. Um, as most of you know, I'm, I'm good, good friends with Angela and I've been really wanting to work with some of her designs for a while. So she was so generous um, to let me work with this kit and I love it. It's completely me. I love the colors in this and the images are just gorgeous. I mean she's got numerous uh, kits now. She's very very talented at journal making and now uh, digital designs. So I was going to share with you how I've used her kit. This is a 4x6 folio style journal. Um, I've got multiple layers going on here. I've got some fabric. Um, if you followed my previous videos, you know I mentioned that um, I picked up this fabric at the uh, Dollar Tree and it was just as I had uh, received this kit and uh, I just thought it was just perfect for it. Um, so I've just you know layered that and I've taken some of the images and I've added some lace to it as well and then the closure is just this very simple um, fabric closure and then I've added a little bulb pin with a button and then this is one of the um, key tags that you can pick up at Walmart and places and so I've just backed it so that if it did flip over there'd be a pretty image on both of those. So let me just go ahead and get this open and I'll go through it um, for you to see. So again on the front, <coughs> excuse me, I did a lot of stitching um, so there's papers, fabrics, images, laces, just quite a bit for you to see there. And then when you go inside, I've actually left this side plain because I wanted the recipient to be able to see the fabric and I, I just think it's it's just kind of nice to have that you know plain on that one and you'll see why I've, I've decided to do that. It was getting so uh, chunky. So the first thing I got is on this front I've created a little envelope that opens up here and within it I've got lots of laces and I've created a belly band here and then this is one of the little envelopes from the kit. I did some stenciling on the inside there and then I've just added a couple of the um, the journal cards that um, that Angela provides in this kit and I did some stenciling on the back as well and, and stitched around. So um, this is a full size kit. As you can see this is a small size so what I did was I um, printed two, two copies per page and then I just built the, the journal up from that. Uh, once I got the size I established um, you know the size to make the covers and so on. So here I've got a double pocket and inside I recently saw somebody on um, Instagram do this um, little interesting fold here and I have to say when I tried to open it up um, earlier I really struggled getting this out because um, I don't want to tear it but <clears throat> I do want to show you guys it's really really clever and you're supposed to be able to pull this and it just come right out but I think it needs a little bit of work to loosen that up. So I just stamped all over it and it just opens up to a, a full size um, US letter piece of paper. And so you could do some secret writing in there and then um, you can just tuck that right back in. <clears throat> So it does open, you know, you just have to give it a little bit of a, a tug there. And I've just tucked this in this front pocket here. Alright, so that's our first little element. And as I said, I, I, I've, this is what I would classify as like a little folio style journal. 
So that's the front. This flips over and inside here we've got two of the little pockets that come with the kit. I mean she's got some gorgeous elements. She's got these little postcards and I've just stamped an image from one of my stamps in my collection. I'm little by little I'm collecting more and more and add some some lace there. I made a little ruffle here, added an old button. These are, um, I've got some old buttons in my collection and I've, I've just been sewing those on. So again, another stamped image and then I just tied this little button to it. And this is just another one of the little tiny journal cards. And as I said, these are larger but I've done them two to a page is how I've come out with that size. Over here I've done some layering with some old um, sewing pattern instructions, some muslin and some lace. Just one second guys, I'm going to get a drink. <clears throat> and then here I've just altered a um, index card with various things for my stash. And I've tucked that in there. So now this bit flips over. And this is where we've got our journal portion of the, you know, for the writing and everything. And inside here, let me close this back. So inside here, I've done a, a little flap, or tuck spot, sorry, and then. Um, this I've just layered several of the elements from the kit and made, backed it with some coffee dyed paper. <clears throat> some more uh, muslin, some snippet, and another of the little postcards with some cheesecloth back there. And so I've just added some of the papers. It, it's a beautiful, beautiful kit here. I've done some uh, stenciling and this will flip over. Did some stamping here on this page. And then this one I just built up a little collage. This was a little um, <clears throat> gift bag I, I picked up along the way on some of our travels and um, it just fit perfectly for this. So here I did one of the little uh, matchbook style writing spaces and I've stamped up there so and then I add a little snippet there. I just thought that was just beautiful. This is just the off cuts of, um, after I trimmed off, I thought, oh, that'd be a perfect little element there. And some more journal cards. Here I've done some um, of the fancy stitch on my machine, which is really pretty. I'll try to give you a close up of that. It's like a vine. And then again, some more journal cards that I've backed with the coffee dyed papers, and those are just tucked in here. So you've got <clears throat> one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's 40 pages. I'm just making a note, guys. Um, of writing space there. <clears throat> Some more stenciling. These images are just beautiful. I love the colors. I really think this the shade of blue is very pretty with that yellow. And this is the center of the signature. And then here I just created this little um, tag. So it's it's you can journal on the back of this. And then it's also a pocket to hold this little tiny tag. And that I've just secured with the back of this um, paper clip that I altered. Did some stenciling there. And then this is a little altered paper clip that I did with some of the elements from the kit. <clears throat> I just love these papers. More stenciling here, stitching, and then just a little cluster um, with some more. This is like a fern stitch from my machine, and I've just been playing around with it. This is the other side of the little bag, and it, they had stamped on it 100% nature, and I just thought it was just it was meant to be in this journal. <laughs> so here I did a little belly band, 
And then this is another, isn't that just gorgeous, little element from the, uh, the kit, little journal card. I just thought that was gorgeous. And then here, I've just flipped another little pull-out there, so extra writing space. And then here, I just made a little notepad, and I did some some of the stamp some of the lines on that from that uh, Stampin' Up set that I picked up along the way on my travels, and another little cluster up here. And then I stamped a note, and then this tucks into this little corner tuck, and this will flip up. So there's some secret writing space there as well. So here I've just done another little journal card. I added a sticker that I found I thought coordinated nicely. And this has been backed with the coffee dye paper as well. So that's our journal portion of the, the folio. And then over here um, I've got another little... I made a pocket out of a guest check and I've just done some collaging with things from it and then I stamped a little bird onto that tiny tag and then this one was just a leftover and I made like a little belly band with an old button on there so this is just a tiny little booklet that you could make some notes in and I just thought that was really cute how that came out and that's just with some old <coughs> hemp um, twine or, and then the little old button and I thought that was really a sweet little element. I love working in the smaller spaces. I think you guys know that by now. Um, this is just old instruction uh, for a pattern and then I did some stamping here. More muslin, eyelet, some more of the image. Backed it with coffee dyed paper. So that's tucked in there. I always try, even though I, I like to make the smaller journals, I always try to include a lot of other places that you can journal in. <coughs> I think it's so fun to be able to make um, a lot of writing places within these tiny journals. So here this flips over. Now this is a um, window envelope. I had from, um, you know, the priority mailers that, that the post office has. Um, you're not supposed to go in and get those. Um, I just happened to have one I, I ran across um, from something that came a while back, so I've altered that. So I, I've i just ba backed it with one of Angela's images there, and then this is just one of the altered shipping tags. And then I added one of the Tim Holtz Seen and Noted um metal. Mm, I forgot what they're called, but you've seen them before. And then a little bulb pin. I ended up having to purchase a thousand of those. <laughs> uh, so thank you guys so much, the ones who have offered to send me some. But in the end, I just ended up um, making a purchase, and I think there's a thousand of them now. So I've, I've got quite a bit there. <laughs> Sorry about the noise, guys. We, we're getting some wind kicking up, and it's picking up the... Um, awning on the on the front of the RV so I ha I'm, I may have to go pull that in in a minute so that's um, you know just one of those mailers over here another little pocket that I stitched and I backed it with some paper I like the contrast of the craft with with the images from this kit I think it really complements it and here again um, this is I've just altered um, this is some fabric, one of the brads, and various pieces, and then I stamped this, so I've just collaged all that, and then I also backed this with the coffee dyed paper, so there's writing there. And then this was just a leftover piece, and I just collaged it. Um, I like this kit. This is the one that comes with the butterflies and the stencils, and uh, I, it's, it's just a really nice, versatile kit. So, again more writing space there and so that fits into that one that folds back there and then this all folds over and then on the back 
yeah, it's quite a chunky journal as you can see. Um, on the back I've made a collaged uh, fabric um, pocket and then added a little button there. And then this is just one of those um, <clears throat> little file dividers and I've cut it down and did some stamping and just collaged on that and did another little stamp there. So you can do some writing on the back of that. I like how that came out. I did some sewing along the edge so there's quite a bit of detail and that just tucks into this back pocket. But yes, it just, it, you know, it got fuller and fuller and um, that's why I've ended up going with that style of a uh, closure because it um, it is quite a chunky one. So there it is. I've named this one the Simply Sunflowers, uh, same name as the kit. And I will um, put a link in the description box to Angela's shop on Etsy. So if you want to check it out, she's got some stunning... Um, digitals on there. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Um, this is now for sale in my shop. If you're interested, you can look in the description box below and find out where you can find me. My shop's listed in there. Pinterest, Instagram, um, and then my email. So those are the places you can get a hold of me. And there's a contact form on my website if anybody ever wants to request a custom order. So I hope you guys are well, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.